The Federation of Piling Specialists is a group of member companies who all work in the piling and geotechnical industry. The group drives improvement in terms of health and safety, in terms of technical and commercial issues. My position in the Federation of Piling Specialists, well I'm a managing director of a company already, I'm also the current chair of the Federation of Piling Specialists. Piling is a concrete column cast into the ground. It can be used to support buildings or to retain the earth if you're doing a dig. Steel, enforcements, concrete, pillars in the ground that you can build on top of for extra support. For my placement year I was matched with Keller and then I was seconded to GTEC for my placement year and I sort of stayed with them. I'd always wanted to work outdoors, but never thought about this. I got back from Australia and within six months, my brother-in-law told me this job was coming up and the work I did out in Australia was geophysics. So I was working outdoors and loving it. I thought outdoors is where I want to be. I love construction, I always love buildings. My dad once, he was building a house back home in Nigeria and I was so intrigued. I just needed something I wanted to get into. I stumbled across this course called Engineering Geology and Geotechnics from the University of Portsmouth. I took this unit called Geotechnical Engineering and that's when I knew that I wanted to get into piling. I'd never heard of piling before in my life, so I thought I'd have a little look. Went to an open day and 16 months later I'm still doing it. Before my piling apprenticeship, I was a beautician or training to be a beautician through college and they are completely different scales. The apprenticeship itself is, is pretty good. I've been on a few courses now that they've put on. So you, you go through, you have to learn different aspects, get your tickets so that you're all right on site. It's mainly site-based. So I do about 17 months on site and I have a few months of classroom work as well, which is where I go and gain all my tickets and my qualifications. So tickets would be things like I have a MUP ticket, which are the elevating working platforms. I've got various ones, abrasive wheels. I'm a first aider, they put me through my first aid course, so I've gained that one out through this apprenticeship as well. There's chances to not just like get moved around England, there's chances to go abroad as well. Once you've been in this industry and you understand bits around it, you can push further. You can go off, get your crane tickets, so you can drive cranes. I mean, the number of possibilities you could go into are endless really, there's a lot of them. I really like the FPS apprenticeship scheme that they do because it is all hands-on. You are on site most of your apprenticeship and because it's hands-on, I personally feel I learn things quicker because I can see it in front of me instead of reading it out of a textbook. I enjoy the way they do it. My opportunities are going to be quite varied and they're very encouraging with what I'd like to do when I finish. They will ask me what I'd prefer to do, what I'd like to look in and if there's any other training I'd like to go in for. I could go into plant operator, I can go into supervisor roles, technician roles. My favourite one would hopefully be a design technician. And it, when I came through to do my degree choices. So I was scrolling through the UCAS pages, seeing what there was, and I came across a course in Portsmouth. It was engineering, geology and geotechnics. It was it sounded good, it was good field trips, there was bursary involved. I spent a year doing piling for expanded in Farringdon. Why I chose the industry for the geotechnical industry was that I started the course, I realised that I liked what I was doing, I had the opportunity to go out on placement for a year and due to that placement and being in this industry for a year, I decided that's what I was going to do. Construction is one of the best industries to get to personally because you walk out the door and you look left and right and you see construction happening all over you. The world is constantly developing and I really want to be a part of that. I want to be part of the generation that say I'm responsible for this building here, I helped build this building here. I just wanted to be a part of that so that's why construction drew me close to it. I think construction is a great industry because no day is ever the same. I could be sitting in the office one day and out on site on the other side of the world the next. Construction is always trying to evolve, make better use of materials, improve designs. From the monitoring we do, we can understand the ground better, understand how things move and work better, and in the long run help designers refine their designs. So I was just trying to make sure that I was going to be in an industry where it's not going to be just repetitive, sitting at a desk doing the same thing day in, day out. There's something a bit different, get out on site, meet the guys, talk to people in the offices, just a massive variety of things you can do. Construction comes with lots of additional perks like uh, living away allowance, company car, that sort of thing. The best thing about my job is probably the travelling. I mean, just getting to travel the world on your own and having it paid for is pretty awesome. 
I've worked in Australia, America, for different parts of Keller. It's made me more confident. I, I do a lot of work alone on my own, so I have to rely on myself a lot. It, it might look similar, but every job's got its different challenges. Everything's always changing. There's always different things which people try and improve on, do differently, innovate. Personally, I feel the best thing about a job is the variety. It's not day in, day out. Everything is constantly, you might have a few things which are a theme to your day, but it won't be identical all the time. The best thing about my job, working for Central Piling, I'm able to do estimating the design as well as doing project supervision as well. In the next couple of months, I'll be able to go on site as well as manage projects, be hands-on with the guys on site and manage what's going on on site. So that's something that's really rewarding, not doing the same thing over and over again, be able to meet people, which I really like meeting people, making new friends and being able to build a relationship with other people. From what I've experienced, all the people I graduated with are now employees. There's not been sort of a year gap between people graduating, scrabbling around for jobs. It's all been pretty well, smooth, really. And people that wanted jobs in the industry got jobs. I've literally just come out of university and I've got a job straight away. So that's something that you don't really see. Most people are wait two years, three years, even five years wait, waiting to get a job straight out of university. So me being able to get a job straight out of university is, is really just points, points the arrow at get that job, get that job, go for that career. It's something that I, I think that young people should really target and doing. It's a good challenge but it is quite rewarding to say that you've been able to do something like this and it's different. It's especially different from what I grew up wanting to do. It's been a, a good journey. It's quite rewarding to see, see your building go up and say you were a part of that. I reckon that as long as you've got the right mentality, you go straight into it. I can be involved in things that are still going to be here later on. I can drive past something and know I've been a part of that. I, that's, that's my favourite thing about it. I've come from Teesside and now living in London, renting a flat with some friends. I'm going skiing next week. It's great. I can do what I want to do within reason. I'm not going to buy a Porsche tomorrow, but I will get there. Now you've seen the film, you can see there's a broad range of opportunities and a diverse range of people working in them, young people like you. If you want to know more, and I'm sure that you do, why not visit the FPS website where you can get more details. I want you to come and join them in this industry.